Many thanks for staying with me. Welcome back. Let's begin with our summaries for the day. And financial stocks lead stock market rebound in Ghana. And Bill Gates commits $5 million to Africa to fight coronavirus. Details coming up next. The signals of recovery from the financial crisis that hit the economy in 2017 have begun to positively impact on the performance of the Ghana Stock Exchange in the first month of this year. The market's benchmark index GSE Composite Index CI at the end of the trading session on Thursday, January 23, had recorded a return of 0.90% to investors, while instructively, the GSE Financial Stock Index FSI made an even better return of 1.57%. Ghana and Germany have launched a 400 kilowatt hybrid waste to energy power plant to treat urban solid waste in the country. The kickoff and groundbreaking ceremony held on Tuesday in Accra paved the way to the beginning of the construction of the plant to be situated in the Trima and Wabija in the Ashanti region. The pilot project has been embarked upon against the background of Ghana's quest to find long term solutions to the menace of solid waste by treating and generating power from the treated waste. The electricity company of Ghana, ECG, has attributed the recent power outages in certain parts of the capital to upstream systemic challenges. The power distribution company is therefore appealing to the general public to report outages to the ECG call centre to enable them expedite action on their concerns. As the coronavirus continues to spread around the world, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation have announced that it is contributing $10 million toward the fight to contain the outbreak. Of that total, the foundation has given $5 million to support the response in China, while the other $5 million is going to the Africa Centers for Disease Control and Prevention for screening and crisis preparedness there. Boeing has reported its first annual loss in more than two decades as the 737 MAX crisis continues to hit the firm. The plane maker was forced to ground the aircraft, which had been its bestseller in March last year, after two deadly crashes that killed 346 people. Boeing says it expects the bill for the grounding to surpass $18 billion. That has hit the firm's finances, pushing it to a $636 million loss for 2019.